Yo, let's try this again. So, um, pretty much, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of what the what is going inside of the CRX right now. Uh, we have been working on this car maybe three years in total. Uh, needless to say, engine's done, transmission's done, paints on there, wheels on there, whole new suspension, front end, rear. Now it's finally time for some audio. So behind me is pretty much what I'm going to have running uh, the amplifier system for the um, CRX. So pretty much we're going to have two MDAKs. Let's not this over. Um, I had the MDAK at two ohm on the one D silver six sub before the engine blew, and uh, it was not enough power. So we're going to double up this time, but instead we do have the uh, newer style MD AKs with the uh, dual inputs already in there. Uh, I think it has a little bit better internals, but we're going to be running uh, two MD AKs, but these are going to be at one ohm. So we're going to pretty much have one per coil to uh, really push us up and hopefully get a little bit louder than we did last time. So we have two of those each sub. Uh, we're still going to run the MD AK, uh, the two on version, but we're going to run it on our mids. Uh, we're going to have some PRV 10 inch mids. Uh, they are monsters. When I say monsters, that is a complete understatement. They take about 2,000 watts RMS on each speaker. Uh, so those will be eight on speakers wired together down or get, get us our two on. So those are going to be pretty screaming. Uh, as well, we do have some uh, PRV 350Ti tweeters, and we're going to run a Triumphs 250.1 on the tweeters to make sure it gets good and loud and screaming those highs. And what's that? And then for the processor, we have the process we have the Tariamps uh, Pro 2.6 digital processor uh, to make sure everything sounds good exactly how I want it and keeping all the frequencies uh, accordingly then we also have the SMD fuse holder for the uh, MD AK so everything's fused with the volume on there so we can see what the voltage is keep everything safe as possible uh, but yeah man I'm super excited right now we have a six order box that we built I don't know, 2019, I think. 2019 in here still. Uh, I want to say it is a 2.75 to one ratio, so almost a three, uh, three one ratio. Um, I want to say 26, 49, 47, maybe the numbers. I can't remember it's been so long, but uh, it sounds really good. Uh, not necessarily the loudest system, but who cares in this car, anything sounds extremely loud regardless. So before we build the new box, we're going to throw this one back in here for the time being. Once again, um, it's December the 14th. Your boy is moving less than a month or so, so don't really have time to build the perfect system. So we're going to use all the equipment we already currently have, piece it back together, slap some new paint on it, make it look good, make it sound good. And uh, just base out and enjoy it until we have more time to build something newer and nicer. Um, I'm going to show you the sub. This sub is a monster, if that's an understatement, but uh, Rusty built me a custom DC level 6 12, not a level 5, a level 6 12. Uh, it has a level 6 motor, coil, 10 inch spider pack on it. Um, it's a monster. I've had it for forever. It went just like everything else, kind of never used it. Uh, it was on the MDAK, the two ohm for maybe, maybe a month before I blew the motor. So that's why I say everything's kind of, kind of still brand new. But uh, I am super excited. Ray's here. I made his house. We finna rip this thing apart, put some uh, sky high wire in this thing, and um, see if we can't make some noise today. So let's get it. All right, so I want to show you guys the sub. So give me one second, let me pour this thing out the car. This thing is a complete monster. It's a monster, you guys. So this is the up close with the DC level 612. I'm gonna say this thing, huge 
it is absolutely huge so we gonna get this thing loaded up and uh yeah still stiff it is extremely stiff but nevertheless let's get her installed you ready guy yes sir let's go